In this video, I've got another spiced rum from the world's end, guys. This is their dark spiced rum. So if you want to know all about it, what it smells like, what it tastes like, and what my recommended highball serves are, stay tuned. Hey, spiced rum fans, I am Steve the Barman, and I'm hoping these videos will help you drink, serve, and enjoy better quality spiced rum drinks. If you are watching these videos, I want to hear from you. In the comments below, let me know what spiced rums you're drinking. Let me know what spiced rums you want me to feature in the future. Let me know what your favourite mixes are as well. Send me all that information. Comments below. Hit me up. Send me a message. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Just say hello. Let me know about your spiced rum world. Talking about Spiced Rum Worlds, there is now a little community on Facebook, Facebook group. It's not mine, I don't own it, uh, but we've kind of got involved and it's kind of a small community that is growing. So if you want to chat to even more Spiced Rum fans, come and find us at the Spiced Rum Club on Facebook. You can find it by just searching that Spiced Rum Club, or if you just want to go straight into your browser, type stblive.com dot uk forward slash spiced rum club that will take you straight to the club and you can join and just chat and join in right then if you are a loyal fan of my videos you will kind of semi recognize uh, this brand this is my second world's end uh, spiced rum uh, that's the first one i did probably about four weeks ago now. This is their Tiki Spiced Rum, which is the second rum that they kind of released. This is the first rum. Now you'll notice there's a big difference in color between them. This is a lovely sort of gold uh, color. This is quite a deep uh, dark color, hence the dark spiced rum. Now I won't go into too many details about the brand because I, as I say, I have covered them before, but just very quickly, just to recap, World's End, uh, the brand name, it takes its uh, name from uh, an explorer, Nathaniel Winter, that when he visited Segresh in uh, in Portugal, kind of looked out, looked out to sea. Uh, if you know where it is, it's kind of right in the bottom corner of Portugal there. Literally, all you can see when you look out is ocean. There is just nothing else. And he kind of exclaimed that that is the end of the world. So that's kind of where the brand comes from. World's End are a Belgian brand. They are from Belgium in Europe. So they are kind of importing the Caribbean rums over to Belgium, spicing them up and then releasing them to the European market. Now to talk about the providence of the rums, if you remember back to the Tiki Spiced video, this is essentially a blend of uh, Trinidad, Tobago and Jamaican rums that are blended up. The base rums of this are Trinidadian and Barbados. So very different base rums, again with the dark spice, I haven't got a clue what kind of spices that they use to spice this up. All we will get is from the nosing and from the taste, which is coming up right now. Okay, so on the nose, this is going to shock a lot of you, but the one big thing that I get off the nose, the one thing that that really, really reminds me of, it's actually one of my favourite cognacs. It really does smell like a cognac on the nose there. It's really, really weird, that. But as the smells linger a bit longer, I do get a kind of a little hint of uh, fruit cake going on, uh, a tiny little bit of spices like cinnamon, nutmeg and that. But for some re reason, I genuinely thought that the first nose, the first hint I got off that when I first had it, I genuinely thought it was a cognac. Now, what does it taste like? Honestly, nothing like cognac. If you are going to bracket this in the dark spiced rum category, that by far outstrips Kraken. You can drink that neat. Wow, that is just a lovely, lovely dark spiced drink. It is a 40 percenter as well, so we're not going liqueur, we're not going spirit based at all. Like for like, the same category. Kind of got that. Um, that smoothness to it. Yes, it's a little bit sweeter. On the spiced rum scale, I would put it sort of a third way up the scale. So 
It's not as sweet as some of them. Uh, recent ones, what we've done, Bamboo, for instance, nowhere near as sweet as that. Uh, but it has got that little bit more sweetness to it than uh, Kraken. The reason why I say there's absolutely no comparison, I know, I know there's so many of you that comment about Kraken on my videos. <laughs> Seriously, when you try this, this is just a whole different level of flavour complexity. You've got tropical fruits in there. I get a little bit of banana on the finish, you get a little bit of mango on the finish, stuff I never get with Kraken. The vanilla comes through very subtly, not overpoweringly, not like a lot of these spiced rums that are just essentially vanilla flavoured. I get cinnamon, I get a subtle, subtle hint of spice in the background. For me, very, very well balanced. Now I was just going to quickly finish that there and move on to the highballs, but as I put that down, I just wanted to carry on because there is kind of a weird sort of chocolatey coffee Thing coming through on the back there it's not it's not evident first up it really takes its time coming out but wow you are gonna have a lot of fun with that that might go up in my top five sipping spiced rums it's gonna be a tough call I'm gonna have to do that I'm gonna have to do a video of my top sippers but that just might make it it's just lovely to have a little tipple of that over ice. But of course, I know a lot of you are not going to drink spiced rums over ice. You want to know how to mix them. As I'm finding out now with a lot of these, I'm getting deeper and deeper in here. Not all spiced rums go with Coke. And this one does, but... My favourite, and I absolutely love this. My eyes were just, when I, when I sipped it, I was just like, wow. And then I had a bit more. Wow. And then I had a bit more. Absolutely love this. So my first top pick to go with this, Corsten Press Apple and Ginger Juice. This is a proper pressed apple juice with proper ginger in there as well nice sort of fieriness of ginger uh, big supermarkets will have this in the uk uh, ocado if you can't find it in your supermarkets ocado will deliver it to you that is a proper 10 out of 10 drink but here's the thing with this because it's got a little bit more sweetness to it than kraken kraken is predominantly a coke and ginger beer kind of drink this just works so well with everything. So let's go. Coca Cola, yes. Nine out of 10 drink. You know, if the apple and ginger was a 10 out of 10, nine out of 10, you are not going to be disappointed with that. Lovely, jubbly. Serve me that. If a pub gave me that, I'd be happy all day long. Same with the ginger beer. This is my favourite ginger beer. Franklin's and Sons ginger beer. Bit of malted barley. Bit of lemon in there as well. Uh, it's my favourite. I just love that ginger beer now. Just coming in very slightly behind the Coke and the ginger beer. I cannot split these at all. This is Fever Tree Spiced Orange Ginger Ale. This is Elixir's of Blood Orange and Cinnamon Tonic. And then my final highball serve. Absolutely love this. Proper, proper out and out. Fun drink. Serve me this in a pub. Pubs, bars. Get on a proper pineapple and soda. Um, yes, Absolutely love uh, Fentiman's pineapple uh, or pineapple tropical soda, but it has got the sweetness dialed back. And with some of the spiced rums, for me, it's not working exceptionally well. Works with a lot, and I absolutely love it. But if you need that sweetness to come forward and to balance out, boy, wow, wow, wow. But there's no getting away from it. My favourite, out and outer. Wow. Fair play. That is just exceptional. Now, just to finish this video, I've just had to top myself up because I really love that neat. That is a really, really lovely neat sipper. Uh, Cocktail-wise, cocktails are now going straight to Instagram as stories, not videos, just pictures. I'm going to make some cocktails up, take some photos, stick them on my Instagram stories. Go and hit me up on Instagram at Steve the Barman. Catch me next time. I don't know what I'm filming. What am I filming? Oh, I know what I'm filming. We are going dark matter. Stay tuned.